Hey everyone and welcome back. Before we begin here today, I just want to take the time to thank you for your continued support of our channel. I greatly appreciate it. Now let's get going with this FE practice problem. So this will be our eighth practice problem. And what we have going on here is that we have to find out which of the following is a unit vector perpendicular to the plane determined by vectors A equals 2i plus 4j plus B equals i plus j minus k. All right, so when you have a perpendicular unit vector here. In order to find that, first thing you got to do is you got to find the cross product of the two vectors given. So we have A and B. So what we are going to have to find out here is A cross B. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a few things here. We're going to set up our little mini matrix here, and we're going to have I, J, K. And then we're going to put A here on the second row, which is 2I plus 4j and then 0k. And then b will just be 1i plus 1j minus off 1k. So when you're doing the cross product, you're going to do basically this twice. You're going to go in this direction. You're going to go down into the right. And then you are going to subtract off going in the opposite, which is up into the right. So let's go ahead and let's do this. So right away, let's go with the i. So we would have i times 4 minus 1. And then going with j, we would have 0 times 1, so plus 0 times 1j. And then with k, we would have 2 times 1, so then plus 2 by 1k. Alrighty, so this just simplifies down to minus 4i plus 2k because j is 0. Okay, so then let's do our other version. We are going to subtract off the second version, which is up and to the right here, so we'll do that one in green. So let's start with i, so we would have i, and that'd be times one times zero. So we would have one by zero i, and then let's do the j one, which would be j times two times minus one. So we'd have plus two times minus one j, and then we would finally do our k, which is one by four here. So it'd be one times four K, which this pops out to be <clears throat> minus two J plus four K. So what we have to do is we have to take these two that we have found and subtract them from one another. So we're gonna go with this right here and we're going to subtract the, the second one, the green one from the blue one. So this would end up being four I plus two j and then subtracting off 2k here just be careful because the minus will change that to a plus and change that to a minus there Alrighty, so <clears throat> this is our um, cross product that we just found but we have to find the unit vector perpendicular to this overall here so to obtain the unit vector what we have to do is we have to divide this what we just found by the magnitude so in order to find our magnitude here we are basically going to take each one of these little portions, square them, add them together, and then square root them. So we would have, oh, sorry, this is minus four. This is minus four up here. So we would have minus four squared, and then it'd be plus two squared, and then it'd be plus a negative two squared. So this pops out to be the square root of 24, which is two square roots of six. So we're going to take what we found here with the minus 4i plus 2j minus 2k and divide by two square roots of six. So our overall perpendicular unit vector would look like this. So it would be minus 4i plus 2j minus off 2k divided by two square roots of six, which basically just divide everything by two here. And we end up with a minus 2i plus j minus off k divided by square root of six. So if we pull out the square root of six, we would have one over the square root of six multiplied by two i plus j minus off k. So which one of these answers is that? Well, this one does not include the division of the minus or the square root of six. This is square root of five, so don't include that one. Well, we have two that have square roots of six and it looks like we have two, one, and one. You just have to be careful where the pluses and minuses are because d over here has a minus j in it. Well, we are plus j. So we are C. 
And that would be our final answer to that problem. With the FE exam, you just got to be careful because they do try to throw in tricks like this where they try to trick you up with a plus and minus being um, interchanged or they will miss or not miss, but leave off an extra step. So if you got to a certain point, it's like, oh, that's all I got to do. Well, just be careful there because they like to do that kind of stuff on the FE exam. All right. So I hope this video was helpful and I wish you the best of luck on the FE exam. Once again, thank you for your continued support and I hope you have a fantastic day.